Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to be sharing my 36 week pregnancy update. I like to start off with the Ovia app and just kind of talking to you about what it says about baby and then mom and then we'll go over a few symptoms and things that have happened for this week. So it says on the Ovia app, baby is probably close to 19 inches and six pounds at this time, the size of, of a papaya. Although variation between height and weight of different babies increases as they get closer to birth. It says now as far as mom, it says because baby is moving down to your pelvis as she gets ready to be born, the pressure on your lungs is probably lightening up making breathing easy and breezy once again. This is called lightning and is often considered the first signs of labor. Uh, let's see, it says baby didn't just disappear, so you will probably notice increased pelvic discomfort, pressure on your bladder and insomnia. And then it just goes on to talk about um, signs that you're going into labor, looking out for contraction signs and all of that. So I've noticed that now that it's kind of towards the end of the pregnancy, it doesn't go through there's not much to update you on, so there's not that many changes with the Ovia app. Uh, now, the past updates that I've done in the past, I have read off like pregnancy questions and just kind of answered them, but I thought today I would do it a little more casual and just kind of, I took some notes today so that I don't miss anything. Just kind of going over things that have happened this week instead of reading off of questions. So I actually did just get back from an appointment that I had um, today and she i'm not going to be doing any more sonograms so all she did was measure fundal height she checked baby's heart rate everything was fine um, blood pressure was great sugars were great so the fundal height right now is at 35 weeks and i'm currently 36 weeks so everything is fine i believe you can go uh, it's fine if they're like two weeks before and then two weeks after is when you're gonna they say you're gonna going to have like a bigger baby but she did feel around and she says that baby is for sure head down, she can feel the head, but she's not really thinking that it, that this baby is going to be a large baby. She's guessing, she said if I had to guess, I would guess probably like seven pounds or so. But we shall see because that's what I thought for my first and she ended up being eight pounds in an ounce. So we'll see what the baby decides her weight's going to be at birth. Now, um, I'm currently still not really wearing maternity clothes. I haven't gone out to buy any, and like I mentioned in my previous videos, I'm not planning on it. I'm actually wearing husband's shirt. <laughs> so um, I'm just kind of wearing what fits me since I'm around the house, and I just don't feel the need to go out and buy if I'm only gonna be pregnant for a few more weeks. So I have not had any swelling actually, which is surprising because at this point with my first, my feet looked like balloons. Now granted, I was still working in an office, sitting down six plus hours a day, even though I got up and tried to walk during lunch, I just was not getting the best circulation to my legs. So I feel like that had a lot to do with it. And now that I'm at home, I'm constantly up and about and I have not had any swelling in my hands or my feet at all. Not even my face do I feel have I gotten swollen like I did with my first. I remember all on the side here, I was just swollen. I have not had any hip discomfort. I did, I did have issues with my sciatica my first pregnancy and I have not had that thankfully this time. And again, I think that just goes back to being a little bit more active than I was the first time around, but I have not had any hip discomfort or uh, any issues with my sciatic. Okay, and then as far as the baby's position, as the Ovia app mentioned, I did notice a decrease in, um, I guess, not being able to breathe, which means the baby did move down. However, the baby is super low and my OB confirmed it today and at the appointment that when she felt for her head, she said she feels very, very low. And yes, I have noticed a de decrease in not being able to breathe, but I have noticed an increase in the pressure on my bladder. I kid you not, I'm having to pee like a thousand times a day, and that includes when I'm asleep. I've had a great sleep so far. I haven't pulled out my pregnancy pillow, but I've had to pee about four to five, sometimes even six times a night, and it's as if I had not peed. So this baby is definitely putting pressure on my bladder. And that's so pain, it's not very much painful. It's just that it's uncomfortable having, you know, especially when I get up from like the seat, 
I just feel like, okay, I need to pee like right now or I'm not going to make it. But um, along the lines of that, incontinence in pregnancy is definitely real. I noticed that this week especially, I dealt with that a lot and it's not only embarrassing, but it's just one of those things that I'm so looking forward to not having to deal with after giving birth. And I know that it may take a little bit, which is fine, but I just want that to go away. It's so embarrassing and it's just very uncomfortable. So definitely dealing with incontinence a lot more this week. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be something I deal with, especially as the baby descends a little lower and having to pee a thousand times a day. But other than that, as far as sleeping, as far as getting up to pee all the time, I've still gotten great sleep. I have not had insomnia, which I noticed is a big uh, symptom that it says for these past few weeks. And I haven't had it other than like maybe two to three nights in the past few weeks. So um, I haven't really dealt with insomnia, which is great. I'm trying to get as much sleep as I can right now. And then I am napping when my toddler naps. And that is one, a uh, piece of advice that my mom gave me and she just told me you're gonna have another baby try to get as much sleep as you can right now because you're probably not gonna get much sleep when the baby gets here so i'm definitely taking her advice and sleeping when i can as far as what i'm doing uh to prepare for like birth at this time i'm still drinking the red raspberry leaf tea obviously right now i'm still at two cups however I am close to 37 weeks already. Once I hit 37 weeks, I will bump it up to three cups a day of red raspberry leaf tea. And what I used to do in the past, what I did was kind of just drink them three times a day. But this time around, what I'm doing is I'm drinking them cold. So what I'm doing is I am uh, steeping the tea. So I'll do like three cups, but I'll put them into like one big Yeti. And then uh, probably around noon or one-ish, I will just put a little bit of ice once it's been in the fridge for a little bit and I'll just kind of sip on that for the rest of the day along with water. But that's how I'm getting those two cups at the moment and that's how I will be doing it for the three cups as well. Just kind of uh, steeping the tea and then putting it all together into one big cup and then sipping on it. Uh, kind of along the lines with the red raspberry leaf tea, which is a uterine tonic if you have not heard of that. I'm also doing the dates already. I started this week. They recommend to start at about 36 weeks. I'm doing I have the medjool dates right now, so I'm doing three of those since they are high in sugar. They recommend the larger dates to do just three a day. So I am doing that right now, and that is what helps to ripen your cervix. And I have to say, this really did, I feel, work along with the red raspberry leaf tea. I feel that those two things really helped me the first time around because by 38 weeks and five or six days i was already at four centimeters and my midwife at that time freaked out because it was my first baby she said i don't know what you did but you did good so do that for your next pregnancy <laughs> so i'm definitely doing that this pregnancy i will let you all know if it did help this time around once i give birth another thing that i'm doing right now is preparing the hospital bags um, I did get a lot of the things on my nesting list done already, uh, breastfeeding essentials, postpartum, I did wash baby's clothes already, car seats all ready to go, just a lot of the things that I had on my nesting list. Aside from doing a kitchen declutter, which if it doesn't get done, it's no biggie, at least I got the pantry and the fridge taken care of. But as far as preparing for birth and all of that, I just have the hospital bag left and my, mine and the babies and my husband's. And after that, I am officially ready for this baby to arrive. I can't believe that I'm already near term and just a few more weeks and I will be to term. So I'm so glad that I've gotten all of those things done. I feel like after I get the hospital bag, I can kind of sit back and just relax for the next few weeks or however long it takes for this baby to decide she's going to come. The last thing that I am preparing for is um, freezer meals and this is one of those things if i can't get it done like the kitchen declutter i'm okay with it but i'd really really like to get this done i really want to prepare at least a week or two after giving birth so that my husband and i don't have to worry about putting food on the table if we have something in the freezer we can just thaw out and put in the crock pot or in the oven so i'm trying to do like 
um, crock pot meals and I'm gonna be doing also like um, casseroles and all of that to put into the oven. If you have any ideas, please let me know down below because I'd love to add them to my list so that I can prepare and have at least a week or two um, ready for after baby gets here. So with all that being said, now let's get into my bump. So this is what my 36 week bump currently looks like. And I feel like on camera, it doesn't look as big as it feels. Maybe it doesn't look as big in person as well, but it definitely feels out there. So oh, I, like I mentioned, I feel like there's less pressure up here, but I definitely feel like baby has moved down and is preparing. That was my 36 week update. I kind of liked it a little bit better just sitting here and talking to you instead of reading off of questions. So I think for the last few weeks, I probably will be doing that and just sharing uh, what happened that week instead of reading off the questions. But I really appreciate you stopping by and watching this update. If you are pregnant, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know where you are in your pregnancy. And I am so looking forward to the next few weeks, just kind of spending time with my family, with my toddler and getting ready for this new addition to our family. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week in my 37 week update. Bye. Oh.